Are you guilty? No, I'm not guilty. Michael Hunt has proclaimed his innocence since the day he was arrested, but he has never spoken about the case against him. That changed this week when he agreed to a jailhouse interview with News 13. The, the truth is that I did not do it. And it's clear in there, all of the pre- uh, uh, the previous statements, inconsistent. In 2011, Hunt was sentenced to prison for trafficking in drugs, grand theft, and living off the earnings of a prostitute. In Panama City, he was running a business called Polecats. Polecats is a dance studio. Because of the sign, I think people uh, passed it off as being a strip club. It's not a strip club. It was a dance studio, and we held uh, entertainment events. We allowed people to rent out the building. In September of 2018, Hunt was charged with unlawful sexual activity with certain minors. During a court hearing in April of 2019, Hunt learned that a warrant was out for his arrest. He left court and disappeared for several days. While he was gone, four people were shot at a home in Panama City. One of them died. Hunt said he left town to raise money for a bond. I was going to meet with my ex to get more money. She lived in Virginia, but I also went to Alabama and I went to Atlanta in order to try to get money. I figured at least I would need another five, ten thousand dollars to to bond out. Hunt says he is innocent and the victim's boyfriend convinced her to file the charge in the sex case. He says the same man convinced the witnesses in the shooting to change their accounts of the crime. She explains that she saw the culprits. Neither one of them was Hunt. She knew for a fact that it wasn't Hunt. Somewhere in the aftermath, it was discussed, look, let's put it on Michael Hunt. Even in the police, this in, in the, even in the police interview, they're saying, oh, you know, we know Mike did this, but it needs to come out of your mouth. They're trying to coerce her to change her statement. Hunt says he kicked this man and the woman accusing him of a sex crime out of his house when some money went missing. He adds this other man may have had enemies. I know he has people out there that don't like him. Nobody has investigated the fact that this guy had three people come in his house on October the 11th, I think, was after the storm, and attempted to kill him. So he said, whoever he has beef with or, or drama with, whatever happened with him, the first person he wanted to accuse was me, especially after his girlfriend makes this allegation, which I believe, and I'm, I'm sure it was coerced by him, according to all the documents. He also said that the shooting could have stemmed from a robbery. They were into a lot of drugs at that house. There's a lot going on at that residence that hasn't been exposed. He adds there is other evidence that proves he's innocent. Hunt says a lineup was done and the witness or witnesses could not pick him out. Police also can't use the location tracking in Hunt's phone to say where he was when the shooting happened. And the second thing is, is that when you look at the AT&T records, my cellular phone wasn't even on from three o'clock that day all the way to the next day. My cell phone wasn't even on at that time. I did not do it. It's clear that I didn't do it. The state attorney's office and the Panama City Police Department both declined to comment. Officials there say they don't want their comments to have an impact on the jury. Hunt's trial has not yet been scheduled. In Panama City, Brady Calhoun, News 13, Panhandle Strong.